Intersolar TV 2011 live from Munich is presented by Schneider Electric. The excitement is gradually building, especially for me, because in just a few minutes, the winners of the Intersolar Award 2011 will be announced right here behind me. And this year, I'm not only reporting on Intersolar, but I also have the great honor of presenting the award ceremony. But until then, we still have a little time to leave you in suspense and inform you about just what makes this the most important award in the industry. I'll see you soon. Everyone wants it, but only a few are able to receive it, because it is the most important award for innovation in the industry, the Intersolar Award 2011. Presented for the fourth time, it is awarded for the most spectacular solar technology ideas and inventions within the photovoltaics, solar thermal technologies, and PV production technology categories. In 2011, many companies hope to receive the coveted award, but there is more competition than ever. As such, this year is especially exciting. The motto of this year's Intersolar Award is the topic Challenges. Challenges in photovoltaics, such as issues with grid integration, storage and energy consumption, as well as solar thermal technology, solar heating, and new materials. These are the defining issues within the branch, and that's what we saw being addressed with the submissions and the award nominations. The world's best ideas are needed in order to pave the way for a solar future. That's why the Intersolar Award reflects the worldwide importance of the industry this year in a unique way. Because, in addition to the exhibitors at Intersolar North America and Intersolar Europe, this year exhibitors from Intersolar India were able to participate for the first time. This increased the number of companies eligible to participate to 3,000. However, which companies actually won the glass trophy remained a closely guarded secret up until the very last minute. And now, the secret is finally revealed. I hope you enjoy the Intersolar Award 2011 ceremony. In the solar thermal technology category, Dr. Vetter GmbH wins with its innovative parabolic channel collectors. Also among the three winners, Absolicon from Sweden. Absolicon X10 PVT generates electricity and heat and makes especially effective use of material in space. It also guarantees particularly high degrees of efficiency for both types of usage. Decker Anlagenbau GmbH won in the PV production technology category. The company succeeded in recycling silicon waste for the first time. And Nanofocus AG was also happy to receive a trophy. The NanoSurf Solar is a high-precision, universal 3D surface measurement system for solar cell production. This enables different characteristics such as pyramid structures, saw marks, laser scribes or fingers to be measured rapidly and with nanometer precision. Farron GmbH proved especially innovative in the photovoltaics category. Its innovation? A film on the backside that protects the modules against wind and weather for 20 years. Electric Drive was also one step ahead. The company competed with its charging box and won. The world's market leader in realized PV systems offers an intelligent loading infrastructure with the Electric Charging Box, away from expensive peak load electricity and towards a higher level of solar electricity in the vehicle. The local load management system makes it possible. The happiness of the winners was clear for all to see because companies receiving this award are guaranteed the worldwide attention of the solar industry. I quickly headed outside in order to visit one of the winning companies, Autocon. Congratulations on winning the award, and now you're cleaning your teeth here after the award ceremony? No, we are just setting up our maintenance equipment. We need this equipment for our solar-powered, decentralized drinking water treatment plant lemon and a toothbrush. It's that simple? How do you plan to make use of this award? Yes, of course, we hope that we will be able to effectively market the system thanks to the extremely high level of interest from this award and implement the system worldwide by emphasizing the advantages. I wish you all the best for the future. And now, it's time for us to show you the other winners. Solar is a Finnish company located in Mikkeli and we are manufacturing uh, solar thermal collectors and absorbers. Our innovation is a full aluminium direct flow uh, absorber coated with a, a highly selective absorption coating. 
Our is very important to us. Uh, as a uh, small a new company, we believe it's going to boost our business very much in the near future. Mans is an internationally active company. Its headquarters are in Reutlingen in southern Germany. And our innovation in the crystalline field is the one-step selective admitter. We hope that the award will motivate even more cell manufacturers to investigate this technology and realize its advantages. And there you have it, the best innovations of the solar industry from 2011. And that brings our special broadcast to an end. Of course, you can also find all of the information about the winners and about the InterSolar Award on our website at intersolar.de. Be sure to check out our broadcast tomorrow when we will be visiting the PV Energy World Special Exhibition. Until then, take care and enjoy the sun. InterSolar TV 2011, live from Munich, was presented by Schneider Electric.